Folks, today on the Stony Ridge Farm Channel, we're gonna show you how to take chickens from the pasture right to the freezer. It's gonna be a great time. I hope you enjoy. I ain't afraid of work. I ain't afraid of play. I ain't afraid to get the job done and do it my own damn way. I ain't afraid of life. Times like this. If you mess with my freedom, I'll tell you just what you can kiss. That's right. Hey there folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to another awesome day here off the Stony Ridge Farm. We're helping a neighbor out today and we're gonna be processing chickens. So today's video is all about butchering chickens. We're gonna walk you through the entire process of what I do to butcher chickens. It's gonna be a fun educational video. Let's get busy doing it. All right, folks, welcome back to the Stony Ridge Farm. This is your first time here, please hit that like button. If it's your millionth time here, please hit the like button. We've got about 1,600 videos out here on homesteading, farming, and all sorts of rural lifestyle stuff. So what we're gonna do today is process chickens. We've got four different stations right here. We have a station that's gonna be here where the chickens are gonna be. We have a station right here. These are the hugging cones or the processing cones. Uh, we'll be processing the chickens there. So we'll dispatch the chicken here. We'll move over to a scalder. Come on over here with the camera, I'll show you. This is the scalder. We're heating the water temperature up to about 150, 155-ish, okay? Then we'll go to the plucker. The plucker right here is where the chickens will go after they've been scalded and that will remove the feathers. Then we go to the gutting station and then right over here, we've got several coolers full of ice to cool the chickens before we put them in shrink bags and put them in the freezer. So that's the process. We'll walk you around, we'll show you all this and I'll show you exactly what to do. We will not show any killing in this video guys, just so you know. I will tell you what to do, how to do it, but we won't show all that. These are the hugging cones or the killing cones. What happens is a chicken is lowered down into here, his head is pulled down through and in a aggressive and firm slicing motion, we will slice and remove the head. The head will fall down into these buckets. These are our gut buckets, okay? They will bleed out. It takes about 45 seconds to three minutes for each one to bleed out. Then they go into the scalder, which has hot water in it. You'll see this entire process to the plucker and over here to the gutting station right here. This will contain our giblets, which is our livers, hearts, gizzards, feet, and necks, okay? This is for our gut material, okay? So this will all be discarded into the compost pile, all right? We have everything sitting up high, so it's at a good working ergonomic height. Then we go into coolers. These are ice baths. So we'll put them into an ice bath and then we'll move them to various ice baths so we cool these birds down to about 55 degrees before we put them in the freezer. These are Cornish cross meat birds right here. There are four Cornish cross meat birds in this bird cage right here. And we go from here and they go right into the cones. This is Tony, it's his chickens. Uh, he's, he's been sweating. He set all this up yesterday, right? <laughs> they set it all up yesterday? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, good stuff. Let's get busy, guys. You're gonna learn something today. Okay, so we're gonna get a chicken out of, hey, little friend, out of here. Now, guys, these are big birds. These are about uh, eight to 12 weeks old. These made it past about 14 weeks, so they're probably gonna dress out at about six pounds, okay? I do not find joy in dispatching animals, but I do find joy in having good farm fresh food. This chicken is calm, it's rested, it's relaxed, it's not stressed, okay? We're gonna lower them down into the cone right here, the hugging cone, all right? Take him by the head, pull his head down, just like so take a knife we'll dispatch the bird just like that that's how it's done it takes two seconds pull the head down with some strength and slice okay guys again we're not going to show you the kill we're just telling you exactly how to do it lower them down pull the head slice okay take the head completely off so we're at the scalding station right now we dispatch the chickens we're in, they're in the hugging cones we're going to go to the scalding station these chickens are are dirty okay they're chickens that's that's their thing they're dirty um they're not going to be clean until we get done in just a second okay so we want to fully submerge the chicken in 150 to 155 degree water this process takes around it could take anywhere up to a minute. It can take as little as 25 to 30 seconds. To check and see if they're ready, we'll pull the toe. And if the skin comes off the toe, they're ready. The skin did not come off the toe, so we're gonna wait just a little bit longer. We want our uh, plucker to be turning and working while we're waiting and doing this, okay? So pretty simple stuff. 
This is really elementary. I'll post links to everything we're using in the video description for you guys so that if you want to set up just like this, you can do it at your place. The plucker seems violent, okay? Trust me, it's not violent. It will not bruise the meat. There's no blood, therefore there is no bruise. There's no blood past the killing cone point, okay? Just so you guys know. We're gonna check again, okay? Right there, okay? The toenail came off. We're gonna toss it in the plucker gently. Just like that. You want to keep cold water going over the birds. This plucker will hold two birds, guys. We're rinsing all around inside the plucker because the feathers fall down around the outside. Okay, I'm going to reach over. Turn off the plucker. I'll keep rinsing. And here is the bird. Completely clean, just like you would have in the grocery store, okay? Set these over here. Now those guys will go through the gutting process. I'll show you guys the gutting process next. Very simple guys, super easy. This is super easy, so don't be scared to do it on your own. So we're into the gutting stations, a little bit darker right here. Just so you guys know, we're using Dexter paring knives. This is a Dexter sharpener, okay? You wanna make sure you're gonna be periodically sharpening your knives as you go here. So again, I'll post links to everything that we're using in this uh, video description. This is a paring knife. This is a pinning knife. I find that using the pinning knives really works pretty well. Uh, the smaller the knife, the easier it is to work with on the chickens. And we're gonna take this pinning knife right here and we're gonna do this chicken. There's a few things that I do for ergonomics. There's some zip ties over here that are holding various things in place. But for now, we're just gonna set stuff down. We're gonna show you really quick how to do one chicken. Okay. So here is our one chicken, he's a big boy. We are separating the neck from the chicken. You don't have to do that. First thing we're gonna do, here's, here's our uh, chicken leg bone. We're gonna cut that way. We're gonna go right up through and cut this way. Leg, good to go. We save the legs. We're gonna do it again, we'll show you one more time. That way, this is a slicer, not a pusher, so slice. Then, cutting away from ourselves like that. That's how you take the foot off, okay? Inside here is uh, the esophagus, the first chamber, we call it the craw of the chicken's digestive system. We're gonna go in and cut up and out away from the bird. Right there is the first chamber of a chicken's stomach. It's called the craw. You may hear a little bark, bark, bark noise here in a second. Gotta get a hold of that, it's pretty slimy. That's okay, this is butchering. This is what it's all about. So there's the craw right there. Again, part of the chicken's esophagus, very simple. Okay, just give her a little tug. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and cut that. Cut it, remove it, and we have a bucket down below where we throw our intestines and our other such products. Now we're gonna take the neck off, okay, because we're separating the necks from these chickens. The gentleman we're processing birds for today does not want the neck. Cut away from yourself. We can snap the neck just like that. Bam, comes right off. Let's we'll stick that over here for now. We don't eat the wing tips. Some people like the wing tips. I don't like the wing tips. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cut right here. Notice I'm doing all of this before I fool with any intestines. I want to make sure that I'm absolutely clean with everything I'm doing before I get up inside the chicken's guts. I'm gonna cut down again right here. Take those wing tips off. There's not any meat on there really, guys, to speak of, okay? It's crispiness. Now, we're to the back of the chicken. This is his rectal area right here. This is. People call that the Pope's nose or something like that. Let me know what you guys call that. We're gonna pinch right here and we're gonna cut outward. We don't wanna stab inward because we take a risk of hitting gut. Gut contains salmonella. Salmonella is what makes you sick. Cut in, stab in, cut out, just like that. You didn't cut all the way into the intestinal cavity, okay? You wanna take your finger, pull in a tearing motion, okay? Reach in, all the way in, and we're gonna get all of the intestines out of this bird, just like so, okay? These birds have not eaten in two days, so therefore they should have a very low fecal load, okay? There should not be any manure that will really come across. All right, so now we're to the rectal area. We're gonna take, cut right around our rectal area, just like so, done. This chicken is ready to go on ice, so. That's what it looks like when it comes out of the grocery store. All right, guys, now you can rinse it off extra if you wanna rinse it off, but we're gonna put this in ice. That one's ready. Here are our intestines, and we save what we call the giblets. The giblets are the in innards or internals, all right? 
This is the gizzard. We're just gonna simply slice away at the gizzard. It goes in its own little pan. We have the heart and the liver. Here's the heart. The heart goes on in its little pan. The liver is right here. And very important, the gallbladder. Do not bust the gallbladder. Here's the technique for getting the gallbladder loose without cutting it and without busting it. Pinch and pull. The gallbladder is intact, the liver is good to go, this gets discarded. That is how you process a chicken. If you want to see it again, rewind it, do it again, do it again, do it again, you'll learn it. The next process we're going to do after we get done with all these chickens is we're going to put them in vacuum sealed bags. Cool. Hope you're learning. So we're to the last part of this process, guys. And what we have here are large poultry bags. These are a little bit too big. These will fit a whole dog, a doggone pig in them, but I wanna use an extra large poultry bag for these extra large birds. This bag shrinks up in water. We have boiling water right here, okay? It's not quite boiling, it's about 200 degrees. You can see right there, okay? It's important that we get our water temperatures right. 150 for scalding, around 200 for this. And here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our chicken, Lower him down in the water, just like so. And get this bag hot, it shrinks once it comes out. So we count to about imaginary number, about 15 or 20. Get it nice and warm, nice and hot. Okay, and then we'll use that spoon to hold it fully underwater, fully submerged. Then we're gonna lift it up, just like so. Give her a squeeze, give her a good twist, like so. Dad's over here with a hog ring. I use a metal hog ring plier, okay? Hog rings are little metal pieces like this. Some people use zip ties. The hog ring works much, much better. This is ready to go in the freezer. You do not need to age your chicken or put it in the refrigerator for two days or any of that magical unicorn stuff that a lot of the hippie channels will tell you to do. You don't have to do that. You put this in the freezer, it's gonna take it two days to freeze because we're putting 25 chickens in a deep freezer. So you gotta think about that. These are pre-cooled, they're about 55 degrees and they're ready to go in the freezer. That's it. That's how we process chickens here on the Stony Ridge Farm. Guys, please pound that like button, jump in, subscribe to the channel. This is everybody. Thanks guys for all your help, right? Good deal. Woo! Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. Woo! I, I gotta call you back. Touch Stony Ridge. Get ready to this is a guy that uh, owns the farm, and he's a little bit, uh, I don't know, what's the word for it? Uh, what? Foreign? Foreign. Foreign. <laughs> Kangaroo. <laughs>